think one of the major, as you said, one of the major issues is job creation. Uh, and this is a, uh, an issue that has bedeviled many a government, you know, and, and it is, uh, of course, the Arab Spring and so on. So we're all very conscious of the fact when we're elected that one of the demands is to create jobs. Um, but of course, government cannot really create jobs, and it's the private sector that has to, to do so, and you've got to make sure there is an enabling environment to do so. Um, and the whole issue of job creation and the, the engine that you build to create jobs is fundamentally very, very almost the same as the engine that you build to meet the SDGs. As I was saying, that you cannot build an economy that is exclusive. You must build an economy that is inclusive. And the paradigm that we've worked on since independence has been a paradigm which has excluded a large portion of the population, whether it's in education or healthcare or uh, just identity. Uh, people have been left outside the loop. And so what we are moving on forward with, especially in Ghana, is to say we want a new paradigm, and it's a paradigm of inclusion. And that has to be part of everything that we do, our plans, our budgets, and so on. And just this week, we've been talking to one world global player about making sure we can introduce coding into our curriculum in school so that the kids start learning how to code because this is where the world is going into so that they are not excluded from the digital age. Uh, so that whole element of inclusivity and formalization is a key part of what we are doing.